Squarespace portfolio tutorial, how to make a portfolio website using Squarespace. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own portfolio website using Squarespace. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that you're going to do to get started to build your website is that you're just going to go on to squarespace.com. So Squarespace is a free to use online platform that enables you to create professional looking websites and e-commerce stores or solutions as well. So you can create your own e-commerce store or your own website but we're going to be focusing on creating a portfolio website now to get started all you have to do is go on to squarespace.com and then you're just going to click on get started on the left over here or on the top right and then after that you're going to select what kind of uh, website you're looking to create so uh, let's say if you're looking for a portfolio so we can just search for that over here and now after that you're going to enter your top goal for your website so let's say for our website our top goal is basically just to showcase our work and expertise so we're just going to do that and then you're just going to click on next you can skip these questions as well but these are just helpful for you to have a easier startup process or a easier setup process and then you're going to add what process you're in so we're just collecting inspiration right now and then we're just going to click on finish now after that they are going to give you quite a few different templates for you to choose from now uh, you can see these are portfolio templates so you can also choose other types of templates as well you can also choose specific categories so you can see in the personnel and CV section over here they have different categories so you can even pick out a specific category let's say you're someone working in fashion so you're just going to click on fashion over here and then this is going to show you the top match for the specific niche that you have selected or let's say we're uh, in the restaurant business so these are the recommended starting points or the recommended templates for you so uh, let's say we are going to create a fashion portfolio so what I'm going to do is instead of going for the fashion uh, exactly the fashion template that they are suggesting maybe I want to do something different maybe I want like a different design so I'm just going to scroll in the personnel and CV section and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to browse over here and this is actually quite a cute little template available so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on start with Kestra which is the name of the template or you can preview the template as well or this one is also pretty interesting so I think I might go with this one so I'm just going to click on start and now this is going to load up the template now before we do that we have to log in with either our email apple or google account so we're just going to continue with our google account over here to set up our website and we're just going to set up our website using our gmail account you can even use your apple id and it only takes a couple of seconds for you to get started with squarespace which is a amazing platform when you're looking to save time and create a very professional looking website as well because if you ever are looking to develop a website you you always find that there are so many complicated things but over here like after i have selected this template they are giving me this welcome form and now they're going to ask me what i would like to name my site so i'm going to enter the site title i want i'm going to add jane's fashion hub this is the portfolio or jane's fashion portfolio because i want this to be a very simple example for you guys to better understand now after that i'm just going to click on continue over here and then i'm going to click on next 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 and now you can see over here this is like their basic startup guide now on your left you have all of your editing features or all of the basic things that you are going to be using to edit and on your right you have the preview now to get started i'm just going to click on edit over here and you can just begin by editing anything on you see on your preview so uh, let's say i want to uh, edit this section so i'm just going to click on edit site header and then i can start editing this however i want so these are just some of the basic sections now uh, you can see on your left once you click on done and you have your pages so you can select pages and then you have your pages that were present in this template which are work about and contact so in the work section i'm going to click on over here this is like the work section these are like the four work sections but what i'm going to do is i I'm going to remove this page. I'm going to click on the settings over here. So you can see this is work. This is enable to page. And I'm just going to click on delete page. Click on delete. And I'm going to delete this page. And instead, I'm going to go back onto my Jane's fashion portfolio. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on pages. And then I'm going to click on main navigation. I'm going to click on blank page. And then I'm just going to create a simple page called my work like this. And now I'm just going to go into the pages section once more 
and then I'm going to click on the settings, then I'm going to enable the page and I'm going to click on set as home page, click on confirm. And now this page is going to be set as the home page. Now, after I have created this basic home page, I can begin uh, begin designing it. So I can create different designs onto this, add different stuff basically onto this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on edit over here, click on add section, and now I can start adding these sections to my page. So uh, once I've added my page, you can see on your left, you have different panels that you can add so you have your navigation panel which gives you basically different templates that you can add to your page so let's say if i go into the chart section i can add charts if i go into location i can add like these kinds of locations but uh let's say uh, i want to keep it simple i'm going to click on list or gallery so maybe i want to illustrate my work and what i'm going to do is i want to set up like a simple gallery and i want to set it up in a scrolling format like this so i'm just going to click on add section i'm going to add this section and above this section i want to add some more text so uh, before that i'm just going to click on headlines and i want to add this kind of headline now after that what i'm going to do i'm just going to change the text to say hi uh, this is my fashion portfolio hi my name is jane now I'm going to just select the bottom text and add some bottom text as well. So I'm just going to add, and this is my fashion journey like so. So after that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on edit section and then I'm going to click on background over here. And now I can begin changing the background. So this is like a default image. I'm going to click on delete over here and I'm going to insert a artwork. So you can insert our simple artworks as well if you don't have your own image available. Um, you can also add simple colors if you want, but I'm just going to go into the background section. I'm going to go into the image section and I'm going to click on search images over here. Click on free Free images you can obviously upload your own image but i'm just going to search for free image and i'm going to search for model because this is a fashion portfolio so i just want to add something that is fashion-esque i'm just going to add this image over here and now i'm just going to reset where this image is going to be placed so i'm just going to move this over here scroll up and I'm just going to place this dot. So this dot is going to be illustrative of how your image is going to be aligned like so. And I think this looks pretty well right now. And now below that, I'm going to click on this button over here. I can remove this button or link this button to something. So I can write and rename this button to contact, contact me like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the button once more, edit, and then use the link. And then I'm going to link this to a page. And I'm going to link this to maybe my My Work page, or maybe I'm going to, like, I can create another page which this would be linked to. So that is how simple and easy it is to create, like, hyperlinks. So I'm going to show you guys an example. So I'm just going to click on done over here. And I'm going to click on pages. I'm going to create another page. It's going, going to be like an empty page, uh, which could be my fashion history, my fashion history like this. And now on my home page, so I'm going to go back onto my pages, go into my, my work section or my basic page. And then I'm going to click on edit. And now I'm going to select my button over here. And once I select my button, I'm going to click on edit. And I'm going to link my button to the new page that I just created, which is my fashion history. And I'm going to rename the button to my fashion history or my fashion journey whatever you might want to call it and then you can also click on design over here to set it in a certain way so i just find that this standard design is pretty good now below that we can click on this section that we just added and then you can click on the images button over here and you can delete these obviously you're going to delete these template images and then you're just going to click on this add icon, click on upload images, and then you can upload your own images, or you can click on search images over here. We're just going to click on search images, and I'm just going to add a couple of free images to illustrate my work, my supposed work, because obviously this is just a sample for you guys. And I'm just adding these images like so, like this. So once I've done that, all I have to do is select these images. I can just select these images and add them. Then you can also add descriptions to these images and you can also link pages. So you can create a detailed page for each one of your artworks or whatever kind of work you're doing, you can create like a detailed version of that. And once I've done that, I'm just going to click on close. And now you can see my website is basically ready. Uh, my portfolio is like pretty good. It looks pretty nice. And all I have to do once I 
I am done is I can click on the mobile view. I can click on over here to view this in full screen as well. And now once I have done this, I'm just going to go back onto my home and now uh, my website is ready. So once I have made this, this is going to just say made with Squarespace. And now I am ready to start managing my website and redirecting people onto my website. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.